Sochi Enrique um, and to introduce myself I was born here in Phoenix Arizona my family comes from San Luis Potosí Mexico as well as other parts of Mexico that we know of um, I'm 25 years old I'm a mom I'm an artist I'm a musician uh, everything I, I was raised in a community of activism and as well as really deeply involved in my culture and so as I was growing up I was always so surrounded by artists. Art was a really big part of our culture, our ancestral culture. Uh, the Mexicas had, uh, thing, they were called Tlacuilos and the Tlacuilos were the people in society who were designated to, to write and paint the histories down. And so this, is, this was a real big part of our culture in the, in, in the sculptures that we see and in, the, in all of the pyramids, there's all kinds of art in there. And that was because there's stories written in there and there's legends in there. And so we were always, as, as children, we were inspired to pick up the paintbrush and there was always these great artists and they'd be like, you can't mess up. And I would, you know, there's no way you can mess up when, you, when you're dealing with paint, you can just cover it up. So they really inspired us to not have that fear. That, that we weren't good enough or anything. They just inspired us to pick up the brush. I could name a thousand people who have inspired me and in, in to create and, and to as kind of my mentors. Um, there's just too many to name and I don't want to leave any out so I won't, I, you know who you are, you know, all these people who have inspired me. Um, but for the most part it's just been it's just been always surrounded me so I just felt it was it was something easy to jump in on and and uh, so you know when there's murals and stuff all always going around in the community making protest banners then it's really easy for somebody to come and get inspired so it's really important that we continue those traditions on and have that those resources for me the colors and the movement of the paintbrush has always been like a real release of energy for me like if I'm stressed or however I'm feeling you know it's, it's a real natural process you get the color and you just start mixing and so you know I'm I've, I've been privileged to always have supplies around me to have paint to have paint brushes so for me having paint is a, is a privilege you know our ancestors they had they made their own paint they had to go out and they had to go gather supplies and gather different things to create it and so for me I, I really take pleasure in just being able to just go through my box of paint. I've had the privilege to work on a lot of different mural projects um, ranging from different collectives and different uh, activist groups. We've, all, we've, we've done a lot of projects uh, for human rights issues, water rights, just a lot of injustices that are going around and um, so we have we have murals all over I've been lucky to participate in. There's one on here in Phoenix, it's called the Water Rights Mural and uh, it's all about the protection of water and so that one is on 1st or 2nd Street in um, I believe Fillmore. Uh, we have one here on 7th Street in McKinley and that one is here at our, our center, Tonatierra. Um, done some in Flagstaff, done some California, San Diego. Um, a lot of my work is just given away as gifts. I like to do big canvases, big paint on big things, and I give it away. I don't sell my work most of the time. I don't like to involve money because it's my passion. Everybody, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to be creative. Don't be afraid to express yourself. And uh, just, just get out there and, and uh, start painting. <laughs>